Here we have a first order uh, differential equation that's non-homogeneous. Um, we can tell that because we have things on the right side over here. It's not uh, set equal to zero. Um, and we're asked to find this, uh, find the general solution of this differential equation um, knowing that x is greater than zero. Um, and I went ahead and wrote two formulas over here. Um, u is equal to e to the uh, integral of px dx and number two is uh, u times y prime is equal to u times q and we'll figure out what that means later. So the first thing we want to do <clears throat> is get this into a standard notation which means we need to get this x out of here. Um, the standard notation will look like this y prime plus um, p of x times y uh, plus whatever but we don't have that here is equal to um, q and q will be this whole section right there will be everything that's on the right side of the equation. Alright, so when we get rid of this x, it's going to be y prime plus 2 over xy is equal to x squared minus x plus 1, and that's all over x. So we can simplify that a little further. So now we have y prime plus 2 over xy is equal to x minus 1 plus 1 over x. Okay, so all of this right here is going to be equal to q. Uh, this right here is going to equal p of x. And this is where formula number one comes in. We can't use p of x, we need to find u. Okay, so u is equal to e to the integral of p of x, that's 2 over x, uh, I'm going to put parentheses around that, dx. Okay, so now we can solve for the u there. Um, so u is going to come out to, um, once we get rid of all this junk, u is going to come out to x squared. Um, you can punch that into the calculator or you can actually figure that out yourself, but that was pretty easy. So I'll skip that step. <clears throat> so now that we have u, we have q, and we know what y is. y is just y. So the next thing we have to do is uh, use the second equation here. Um, and we'll go ahead and plug in our values. u is equal to x squared. Um, and then y. And that prime is equal to uh, u times q. So this is u and this is all, this is q right here. So it's going to be x squared times x minus 1 plus 1 over x. And we'll put parentheses around all of that. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing we're going to do is multiply this into this section right here. So I'll arrow over and we have x squared y prime is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus uh, x squared over x but we can simplify that down to just being x so I'll go ahead and do that right now so we're running out of room here alrighty so <clears throat> the next thing I have to do is get rid of this prime so we're going to have to take the integral of both sides of this so um, we'll get another color here We'll go ahead and do this, just to show that that's what we're, what we're doing right now. Um, and then once we take the integral of this side, we're basically just getting rid of this prime. So that's, that's the easy part. Um, so the left side of this equation is just going to be x squared y. Okay, and then we need to take the integral of all this on the right side, which isn't too bad. Um, this x cubed is going to be, let's see, 1 over 4 times x to the 4th. The x to the 2nd is going to be uh, minus 1 over 3x to the 3rd. Uh, the x is going to come out to be 1 over 2x squared. And like with any integral, we're going to add c on the end. All right, and now we just have to solve uh, for this y over here. So we just need to get rid of this x. So we'll divide that out, and we're going to get y is equal to um, all of this 
over x. So we're going to get x squared over 4 minus x over 3 plus 1 half plus c over x squared. Let me get rid of this and so we can circle it. And this right here is your uh, general solution of this initial uh, differential equation.